I feel like there's a huge ball of bright light in the, the center of the head, like near where the pineal gland is. That's true. I'm starting to wave the lerma- learner's permit and asking for beings of the light from the future who desperately wish the awakening to occur and are willing to come back to the present time to come make this work right. Make it right. Make it right. Ooh, there's a lot of alignment uh, adjustments. Let's do that again. Tuning to perfect frequency, not so much. Tuning to perfect alignment. There are a lot of broken, like just flat out broken uh, alignment channels. It looks like a a disaster, like an earthquake. You know what it reminds me of is Mm. the uh, images of those Mexican caves of huge crystals where the crystals are helter skelter big huge white pillars that's true helter skelter that's what it looks like tuning to perfect alignment let's see if we can get those crystals to all be vertical and aligned once more tuning to perfect alignment tuning to perfect alignment tuning to perfect alignment now i'm starting to see like a terrible accident I can't quite tell what it was, but it crashed these pillars and hasn't been right since then. Interesting. Well, game theory would say it happened when we were in Cambridge, because that was when everything fell apart. Because mm, that's true. Yeah, because we were hit in the zone when we were doing this session on the plane. It was just perfect. Something must have happened. That's true. Well, waving the learner's permit. Waving the learner's permit, asking for this work to be made right, playing the grace, make it right, make it right, make it right, correcting whatever we did wrong. I don't know what we did wrong there. We must have missed some signal. We must have done something wrong. We must have been lazy or cowardly. Maybe we weren't willing to look at the truth. Um, Yeah, that's possible. It's possible. It is possible. So, uh, playing the grace to make that right. I can't find the mistake. I don't find the error. No, not yet. But that's when things went bad. And we haven't recovered from that. So I'm just asking for beings of the light from the future to make that right, make it right, make it right, make it right. Tuning to perfect pitch of the higher souls of the future immediate presences. Tuning to perfect balance between the higher souls of the future immediate presences and the immediate presence. And tuning to harmony with the awakening. Now, tuning to perfect vibration of the empowered future. We have enough to live the lives we've come here to live. We are enough to be who our souls want us to be. We can trigger this awakening. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We're releasing attachment now to these, this being the final step. We doubt it's the final step. We're releasing attachment, but one thing we know is we aren't stopping. That's true. Onward, onward, onward to the goal. And the only way to fail is to quit. That's true. So we aren't going to fail. It's just a question of how long will this take. That's true. What it feels like to me is the higher dimensions from the future have just moved overhead. So now it's like I can look up again and see smiling faces waving who seem clear. That's true. They're just from the future. It's like the future (laughs) just moved overhead. That's true. So it's like the future is all around us, including overhead. Cool beans. Maybe that's what those um, crystalline structures in the back were doing. Maybe they fell because the higher dimensions went rotten right then. That could be. It's possible, you know? That could be. It could be that it was their reluctance to see what was true that was the problem. I don't know. I don't know. That would make a lot of sense. It would make sense. I'm not saying that that's it. 
That's I cool. have no idea. I know that these physical bodies reflect what's going on with the greater good. Right, that's true. And so when we look too small, we don't ever get the answer. That's true. If we say, oh, wait a minute, maybe it was those big eyes up there who didn't want to see how bad it was, all of a sudden things start to make Makes sense. sense. They it's really true. do make sense. And now we have the sense of the Hindenburger, the Goodyear blimp, boom, moving overhead. And now I start to send this up, getting ready to send up this work, and I see uh, eager hands who are actually like their sleeves are rolled up and they're like almost salivating to jump in and get it done. Awesome, let's do it. Come into the physical dimension. Poo-hoo! Looks like a a cloud of parachutists. That's true. Okay, let's do it. Take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down. Take it down now. Let's do it.